provides foot care on one foot. One. Okay. Hi, Mr. Peter. I'm here to provide foot care on one foot for you. Is that okay with you? I'll be right back. Write this down, guys. For foot care, these are your equipment. Two basins, two washcloths, three towels, a pair of gloves, soap, and lotion. Okay, those are your equipment. I'm going out to get water, okay? The examiner will be coming with me, okay? So actually, you know what? Just bring one basin instead of two basins. So I'm gonna put one basin back, okay? When you get here, you're responsible for testing the water. Make sure it's not going to be too hot or too cold for your patient. And like we said earlier, every time you test the water, you dry your hands so that gloves can fit on your hands easily. You get about this much water once again. I'm going in and the examiner is coming with me. Responsible for shutting the door behind you. When you come back, ask your client to test the water. Can you please test the water? Okay. I'm gonna once again bring the client's head up to a sitting position. Okay. I just want you to see the button that I'm using, the head of the bed button is what I'm using. So bring it to a sitting position. Perform this scaling bed, so you have to be very mindful. You do not spill the water in bed. Okay, cover the foot so you're gonna be washing and putting. Roll your patients. Wet your washcloth, then you get your soap. You're gonna wash the entire foot in between the toes for the examiner to see that you're going between the toes. It says the foot. Do not do extra by washing the leg. After washing, I rinse the entire foot. 
obviously this is not easy for your clients at all as far as bending their foot up to this level or leg up drying we said we do not rub we dub okay so also go between the toes and dry the entire foot let the examiner see that you're drying the entire foot okay this is what i was doing once you've washed and rinsed the entire foot and dried the entire foot the next thing you do is to lotion it's a step to lotion uh, lotion the client's foot you don't put the lotion directly on the foot you warm it in your palm it's a step then you lotion the entire foot the bottom of the foot you do not lotion between the toes if you get lotion we said that for the gna exam sometimes we're a little bit nervous which is all normal you see here i have too much lotion for instance you would not just stay here after all we just said that it's a time exam trying to blow on this or trying to massage your classmates foot you will simply put the lotion on and get the towel you use to dry the foot and dab the excess lotion off okay that's what the scale says you can dab it off that's if you have excess lotion if you don't then you don't have to do that once you are done remove your towel yes with your glove hand return your patient back to the lying position. Same thing we did concerning all our washing skills, okay? You do not take the linen outside of the examination room. Return your equipment where you found it. You're going out, which I will show you this part of the skin later. You're going out, you're gonna get rid of your dirty water. You're responsible for rinsing the basin and drying the basin, then you leave it at the designated dirty area. Okay, so the examiner comes with me. When you get here, pour the water into the basin, into the sink rather, excuse me, dry the basin. and bring extra paper towel. Excuse me. Call lights is within reach. Call light is within reach. My bed is in the lowest position and I'm going to wash my hands, all right? Then you've completed our foot care. The next skill we have here, go to page 35. Provides mouth care, skill 20. Skill 20 has a critical element. The critical element says, uh, step eight, cleans mouth, including tongue and all surfaces of teeth using 
a gentle motion. All right, so watch and learn. This is my GNA exam. I go to my patient once again. Hi, Miss Mephisa. I'm here to brush your teeth. Is that okay with you? I'll be right back. For this scale, these are your equipment. You're gonna get an emesis basin. You're gonna get a washcloth, which will be acting as your bed. You're gonna get toothbrush, toothpaste, and a cup of water, okay? The water is provided for you over here, so just get your cup and get some water in it. You would also need a pair of gloves. If your question is, am I gonna wash the client's teeth for real? The answer is yes. <laughs> for mouth care, the head of the bed comes up again. <laughs> I'm gonna be standing by the wall so that everybody can see this. Just like I said, mouth care has a critical element. The critical element says you're gonna brush all the surfaces of the teeth and you're also gonna brush the tongue. You might miss it. It also says do this gently. That's why I was emphasizing. Almost like a range of motion for knee and ankle and range of motion for one shoulder. The critical element says gently. So if you do it too fast, do we have a problem? Yes, all right? Because if you remember at the beginning of the skill demonstration, I told you, you have to do a critical element for a skill that has one. And you also have to do the critical element correctly. Just because you perform the critical element doesn't mean you get credit for it if you do it incorrectly, all right? So watch and learn once again. Put the babe on my patient over here. Glove up. You don't have to write any of this because you're just watching me. Okay, everything is illustrated. When you are taking the toothbrush out of the sleeve, the plastic sleeve, okay, don't touch the bristles. This is going into somebody's mouth, so you can just pierce it with the toothbrush itself, okay. Before you put toothpaste on the toothbrush, you will wet the toothbrush. This patient over here did brush their teeth before they came, right? Your classmate. So don't put too much toothpaste on the toothbrush or else you'll be here forever. Rinse in it. And we want to finish our GNA exam on time. Okay. Once you put the toothpaste on your toothbrush, you are going to be holding the emesis basin, also known as a kidney bowl, okay? also known as a spit bowl, close to your patient's lips, and you're going to give your patient instructions so that you will pass this successfully. None of us have perfect teeth, so if you are a patient for someone and they ask you to open your mouth for them, please do. Don't just sit there and do this and then the person fails the exam all because of you, all right? The first instructions I'm gonna give my patient is, Miss Nafisa, can you do cheese for me? Okay. So this is what you would do, gently. Of course, I'm speaking because I'm teaching. You will be doing these skills quietly. Now do, uh, open your mouth. Very good. So when your classmate tells you to do, uh, don't bring your tongue out. Just open your mouth, you brush the lower enamel, then you brush the top, okay? Now can you please bring your tongue out, stick your tongue out. When they ask you to bring your tongue out and you stick your tongue out, you, the CNA, will just brush the lower part 
don't go all the way to their throats, obviously, or else they will gag, right? Okay. You're done. You did the critical elements correctly. Once I finish brushing the tongue, I'm gonna ask her to rinse and bend her head down and spit in the kidney basin. I'm holding, if you hold the water, I'm holding the toothbrush on the side here, okay? So you can use that trick. I'm gonna do this so you can see. So be a great patient for each other in this manner. Thank you. After she's spat, I'm going to use the washcloth to dry her lips, not rubbing, but what? Dabbing, okay? Very good. We are CNAs on the nursing team. You know this is what we do. Okay, so this is not a problem. When you finish, this is considered disposable. The examiner is going to dispose of the toothbrush, okay? But you want to put this into the trash bin, the washcloth into the hamper. I'm gonna go to the sink, which I will show you later when the recording is over and rinse this and rinse the toothbrush as well. For now, you don't have to come with me, okay? But that day, the examiner will come with you. When you get here, just pour the contents of your spit bowl into the sink, rinse it, and rinse the toothbrush as well. Dry the emesis basin. I'm going to wash my hands. You go back. As you see, the examiner has designated an area outside of the classroom that he or she has determined as the dirty utility area. So any equipment that you take out to wash and rinse and dry, you leave it at the designated dirty area, all right? That's why I'm not coming back with any of the equipment, okay? Get rid of my toothpaste, a paste. Like we said, you should put it back where you found it. If I have a speck of water on my table, I can clean it with paper towel or washcloth. I return my patient back how I found them, okay? In the lying position. So some of these skills, obviously, you can also practice at home. If you have family members who can allow you, but you are still supposed to come to school to practice, so you can take command of the environment. Okay? The more you practice here, the more you'll be used to the equipment and the environment. So that day, 